your soul does not take offense. Heaven Letter Number 4954 June 18, 2014 As you see it, so many other people make your life difficult. Strictly speaking, no matter how difficult you may find someone else, there is something within you that is impeding you. No matter how much proof you have, there is something within you that needs attending. When something on the outside strikes a chord in you, a chord in you has been struck. You do not like to think of yourself as a fault finder, yet, how much in life is there that pleases you, beloved, and how much fault do you trip over? As much as you struggle, so do others. Sometimes you feel you have come to an impasse. You would break down all the walls. The walls are within you, dear ones. Within you are the walls that long to be broken down. Yes, your beloved friends and foes have impediments, and so do you. You understand, we are not talking fault here. We are speaking responsibility. Let's look at responsibility in a new way. Consider responsibility simply as an answer to this question. Is there something I can do? Better yet, what can I do? I tell you frankly that there is something you can do. But, of course, the other, the so-called other, can make some changes in attitude, understanding, etc., certainly, and so can you. So must you. We are dealing with you, beloved. It is you that you have to work with. Change something in you, and the whole configuration of what you call a difficulty shifts. Yes, beloved, make a shift in how you meet whatever it is that you meet. I do not speak of a pretense of a change. I speak of seeing differently. I speak of your not seeing yourself as a mere walk-on in this scene. Somehow or another, you have been a factor in this scene. If you find yourself out of patience, there is something you need to see in another way. If someone has too much ego, then you will do well to remove some of yours. Without ego, what is there to be irritated with? What exists when your ego is set aside? The bare bones exist. The truth exists. Without ego, or shall we say without the swell of ego, no offense is taken. No one can make you feel unappreciated and undervalued. Your own ego does that. Your own ego is quick to feel offended. Surely, your soul doesn't feel offense. There is something you have to own up to. And now you see better. And now you understand better. You calm down, and the seeming other can calm down. Whatever you are fighting, you are fighting yourself. You may feel that someone else needs to be knocked down a peg or two. That may be so. Even so, beloveds, there is something within you that may need to be knocked down a peg or two. Clear the debris from your own hearth. I do not ask you to be a saint. I do not ask you to be a cipher. I am asking you to understand yourself. Understand yourself more, and the outstanding faults of seeming others no longer stand out so clearly or so much. Give someone else a chance, and you give yourself a chance. Here is your chance. It's here right now. You are giving yourself a chance. Life gives you as many chances as you require. When someone who is difficult for you to deal with moves away, he may still catch in your crawl. He may indeed have left earth, and he still catches in your crawl. The thing is that someone else will arrive on the scene as well to take his place. You are still here. If you are not yet finished with this difficulty, there is still more for you to see and let go of. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org